Alright, alright, matey. Alright, Hugo here. He went upstairs and fetched me a cigar. So I said, alright, let's just do a review. I smoked these before. Alright, so I figured since I've had them a couple times, I'd do a review. So this is what the Monte Cristo White looks like. Focus in. Beautiful cigar. And I hope my the YouTube algorithm doesn't ban this video because of the music that's playing in the background. I tried turning it down, but I still hear it from here. <laughs> so this is what she looks like. Beautiful, beautiful. And, uh, ice cream. Um, and my son uh, ice cream. is bombing the video with uh, asking for ice cream. cream. <laughs> uh, ice cream. Uh, uh, oh, there you go. All right, enough of that. Let's light her up and give it a go. All right, so here we are. Nice draw. It's a little windy. Well, not real windy. A little windy here, so let me see if I can get a better light on this. Alright. Well, I'm not going to show you. Uh too much on this one I mean uh, maybe I'll do like uh, initial smoke and then towards the end for me I'll tell you right off the bat whatever cigar I get I don't care Monte Cristo punch uh, five dollar cigar you know house brand. house brand you know there's local smoke shop brick and mortar might have a house brand uh, mine does that I don't know who they have roll it but it's got their store label on it. Um, so, first off, we got a little uh, old number seven here. The pair with this fine aromatic bouquet. And so the white series. So I get to talking. <laughs> then I lose my train of thought. Uh, what I was saying was that towards the end, I don't care what cigar it is. They all taste sour and nasty to me. Probably when we get to about there. By then, it's either I'm ready to just throw it the hell away, or, you know, but I don't. I start, you know, go to about almost to the the band. You know, I've, ne I've gotten to um, probably the nub, pretty, pretty close to the nub with, with some cigars. Uh, this one... Sometimes. I'm not sure. We'll see about today. But yeah, they're not burning a little too good here. Seeing as you can see. A little bit. It's hard for me to light a cigar in broad daylight. <laughs> you know? So hopefully that will even out. Oh well. What you going to do, right? So. What I'm going to do for my review. And there's plenty of other reviewers out there. If they want to get into nuances and things like that. Cigars is a cigar to me. Like I said, I don't care if it's $15. I don't care if it's $5. That's my opinion. That's my palate. Pipe tobacco is a different situation. There's flavors in pipe tobacco. There's always something that you can pull out a little bit. But cigar? Yeah, it smells like a cigar. Smoke? <coughs> cigar. You're going to stink after you smoke this. But 
I will tell you, the draw is fine. And I've noticed that if you buy a box of cigars, you're going to get one or two that may be plugged to where you'll have to take like your pipe tool, you know, the little stick part and jam it in there to free it up, you know, sometimes does it sometimes right off the bat you'll, you know, cut your cigar and try to draw and you're like I'm not getting anything. Did I cut it wrong? No, and you look and you can see that you didn't cut it wrong. Uh so a lot of times I don't care. You get a box of like 24, 25 cigars, one or two is going to be plugged. Nine times that. Well, not nine times that. Ten. D it depends. I mean, I, I don't buy that many boxes of cigars anymore. I just do, like, you know, the deals where you get five or ten for a certain price. Um, you know, unless I come in, you know, win the lottery, and then, you know, then, yeah, sure, that I'll, you know, I'll buy a box of cigars. But, uh, you know, my days of buying full boxes, 25 stogies, you know, are pretty much done. But, uh, I just I go where the deals are. I look for my brands and I go where the deals are. That's what you got to do. And then you can always find yourself something nice. I so getting back to this at hand. For me, the white label is mild, not overly strong at all. And this I believe this is the robusto size. So you talk about what five inch. Uh, five inches long, maybe a little bit, yeah, about five inches long, and uh, probably like 50 to 54 inch ring gauge, to guess. And I've enjoyed these. I think I got a 10 pack when they were on sale online. I believe I got these from Cigar International. They had a deal going on. And these are real good. Uh, it's mild. And I found that there's a lot of sites where you can, you gotta shop around. I just picked up another pack of five pack uh, Monte Cristos for, uh, oh geez, five pack for $24. That's crazy. Like, I think I paid close to. 35 or 40 for these but then I was 10 okay so we've got five more extra cigars but I'm talking it's, it's a good deal it's a good deal and I, I will be reviewing that one next so that being said my friends I'm going to enjoy this and yeah it's not overly strong at all very mild Pair is nice with the old jack. And I'm going to bring you back, I guess, when I get to the end. And we'll do our final analysis of the Monte Cristo White Series. So here we are at the nub, pretty much the nub. Still just tastes mild. A little bit stronger. A little bit more soury note there. So, hey, you know, all in all, great cigar. So, check it out. So, till we do it again, my friends, remember, let's set sail.